50 degrees today. Man, it feels good. Early in the morning, traffic is crazy. It's my day at Aurora Salon. I'll show you where I work at. It's right here. It's an old house. It's nice. Let me give you a little tour before the day gets busy. A lot of people say, what do you mean you have a profession and a trade? A trade is something you do with your hands. It's a skill. And I learned how to cut hair. And it's something I've always fallen back on. I work at a salon. I have a little men's grooming studio at the salon. It's very nice. A little front porch here to sit out here. Sometimes later on have a cigar, pipe, or something like that with a client. It's kind of cool. But I'll, I'll give you a quick little tour. I only work here one or two days a week. I'm in, but always accepting new clients. Here it is. And here's the main salon area. And this is where the ladies are. It's real nice. There's six stations, a wash station there, products, uh, reception area, waiting area. Then I'm like way in the back. Here's a client bathroom, and then come through here. And then this is my back room. It's a men's grooming studio. And it's just, uh, just me and my clients back here. Cool chair. Comfortable. This is my workstation right here. I use like this toolbox, a husky toolbox with multiple drawers in it with combs and clippers and scissors and everything. My coffee from this morning. <laughs> my rack with stuff. A hot towel warmer. A essential oils. This is a hot lather machine right here. The mirror. This right here is for waxing for guys. Ears nose, uh, unibrows, that kind of thing, so a guy can get waxed here. Oh, also two paraffin dips for the hand where you dip your hand in the hot wax. Three times I put a bag on it and then like a little mitt. Makes your hands really soft. It's crazy. Um, license on the wall. What do they say? If there's no license on the wall, uh, just get out of the chair. Um, little waiting area here. Tripod for videos. My Van Gogh stuff. And I'm just reorganizing some of my stuff where I drinks and that kind of thing in here. Uh, pheromone soap. I give pheromone soap to people. And I just come in, I hang my jacket up on the door, keep a hanger for clients. So overall, this is the men's grooming studio right here. That's what I do one to two days a week. It's nice. I always have a couple chairs here for um, a girlfriend or a wife or something like that that wants to sit here and not sit out in the waiting room. And it just works out really well. I have a bathroom here. That's nice. Back here is, um, this is the, for ladies, the manicure, pedicure area. It works out really well. And this is before we get cranking during the day. So if you think about it, I'm like way in the back there. There I am way in the back. So I'm not with the ladies doing their thing. I kind of do my own thing. Checkout area, we're decorating for Christmas. A wall of product. And... So that's what I do one to two days a week. Let's just take a quick little walk and talk about that. Uh, regarding profit centers, you can see the whole place there. There's an apartment above it, but it's such a beautiful place. Some people said to me, oh my God, you work in a salon? And I'm like, dude, I have a men's grooming studio in the back of a salon. And it's, even though it's not a, uh, it's not, well, I don't have like Sports Illustrated and Playboys and sports on TVs. We talk about business development. Uh, every, every time I give somebody a haircut or serve them somehow, I am coaching and consulting them always. Care about their life, where they're going, 
what their plan is for the next month, six months, year, five years, that kind of thing. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful little location here. Very easy to get to outside of Philadelphia. This building over here, this is a gymnastics center. So there's always people learning gymnastics. In the back, there's a nice uh, neighborhood. It's nice. It's very nice. And I just, and I, I park my truck back here. So, my truck, 230,000 miles on that dog. I'm psyched. But I can't believe it's 50 degrees today. So I feel, that's why I'm out here without a jacket. It feels good. Getting some fresh air before the day starts. There's a big tree that came down, man. I would love to get a cross section of that. I don't know who, who owns that property, but there is a tree there that's minimum three feet in diameter that I think would make a great, I don't know, what do they call that? Like a live edge table or something? Get one of those like six foot chainsaws or something, right? So that's where I work here. Uh, one to two days a week. I reduced my days down. Don't want to burn myself out. I keep creative. Um, I have some clients that I've seen for 12 years. I have some clients that I've seen just a couple times. I have a wide number of people that come see me. It's my trade. Trade. There's a difference between a trade and a profession. I do this because my grandfather said to me, always have something you can do with your hands. Unless you own a salon and have multiple chairs earning money for you, it's not a great living. It's a good supplemental living if you're doing it by yourself. So if you're thinking of going into hair, you better take some management courses and learn how to manage people because just cutting hair as a solopreneur, it's a nice side gig, but you can't do it for a living for long. If, if you want to get anywhere in life, that's true. You know, if you're a, a man who is married, wants to be married, wants to have kids, you need to have people working for you. And then what happens is you end up, you literally end up being far away, you end up doing more management than haircutting. Does that make sense? You end up um, being a manager. And the bigger your business gets, the further away that you get into, the further away you get from doing what you originally got into the field to do, and that was to cut hair. So many hustles, and my gears are turning, and I'm not discouraged, and it's all good. So, let me go back into this place, and we'll uh, we'll chit chat just a little bit more. Okay. And here I am, just waiting for my first client to show up. It's the beginning of the day. It's real quiet because the place becomes a beehive, buzzing. Always have multiple streams of income. Always, when something drops out, you need to either ramp up existing streams so you don't go into a panic. Super important that you do that. Hope you learned something. And if you're new to watching me, then this is uh, this was kind of a new thing for you. All right, thanks for watching.
been a long day of cutting hair. True to my philosophy of always have something you can do with your hands. Not a bad philosophy to adopt. Having a profession and a trade. Talk to you soon.